All right, you guys, so welcome back. In this section, we're gonna be taking a complete look at the machine software overview, uh, the browser, the different sections, the mixture and all that good stuff. And I'm gonna show you guys how it's laid out and how to start loading samples inside a machine because without loading samples, that's arguably like the most important thing that you can do inside of the machine. So let's go ahead and switch over here. And I got an instance of machine pulled up here. Now, what's super cool about machine is that it's cut up in like four or three different sections. You over here you have like all your browser section so this is where all of your sounds and everything that you have on your hard drives and and all the stuff that you have installed inside a machine this is where all of these this is going to be in this section over here now this top section right here is kind of like your project section so if you are coming from a non a linear DAW or any other DAW then you have like the project section where you have the timeline and everything like that. This is kind of like our timeline. If I come over here and click this button right here, it brings me to the song view and this is my ideas view. So this is um, back when I set the preferences, you got your different views and everything like that. You got your song, mixer and idea view. Uh, this is my ideas view. I can come over here and audition different ideas and different sections and start different scenes. Uh, scenes are no more than different sections of your beat right so i can come over here and whichever tab i have highlighted then that's what's going to be playing at that time which is super duper dope because i can come in here and build like a hook and then hit this button right here hit this scene right here then it transitions over to that and i can hear how the hook transitions back into my verse so that is your scenes mode let me delete this all right and down here is kind of like where all the magic happens yo like this is the section where you're going to be programming your drums where you're going to be uh playing the midi keyboard where you're going to be sampling this is where all the magic happens so this is your uh right now this is kind of like your your step view it's not like a step view but you can actually program different drums by just clicking in right here and it added automatically add a um a little block then i can come over here and when you note you notice that when i drag this right here this note right here it automatically pops up on the root note down here in the piano row so this is my piano row now for to zoom in and out of my piano row all you have to do is come over here and drag this this the end of this right here and that is zoom in and this will make it just a tad bit bigger I wish that they would uh, change something about that and make that a little bit better, but um, it's not, they, they haven't done it. So this is, uh, this is the piano roll and this is my sampling section. So this is on the software. If I had a, a something loaded up, which I'm gonna do here in a little bit, you will see the sample and everything that you can do inside the sample engine uh, right here. So that's my sampler. And these this button right here, this is for my automation. Uh, so this is just kind of like the quick overview of the machine software. This is not a comprehensive because as we go into loading sounds and, and doing other stuff, then you're gonna be, we're gonna be talking about the uh, different functions within each of these sections. So uh, I mentioned that we have the songs view, the ideas view, and you get to that just by clicking this button right here. But we also have our mixer view over here. So this is how you add different plugins. You got your ins and outs. You can change those. You route your audio and everything like that. You can do it right here from the mixer view and you can control the levels and pan and everything right here. You can also do the same thing, panning and controlling the levels right here by each individual um, pad or sound. Um, you can do that there, but uh, I prefer doing it here because it makes me feel like I'm actually utilizing a mixer. So the mixer is set up in a way that these are your groups and you, if you come over here and you double click on it, I just double clicked on the, the uh, A1 right here and this shows me the group view and this shows me all of the sounds within that group view. Now I have my master bus over here. So this is where every, all the sound that's inside a machine is routed to your master bus which is the overall volume sound. This top section up here is my transport controls. So I can change my tempo. I can turn on, on and off the metronome here. I can add swing to the entire project. I'm gonna show you guys later on how to add swing to just in individual sounds if you want to. And this right here lets me know that I'm on scene, scene one. And this is my time signature, 4-4. Uh, I can come over here and I can change this. When I, when I go back to performing, 
this button right here is kind of like my scene trigger. So when I said that I I have the ability to switch over here to different scenes. So if I if I had this one scene right here, how quick it switches over to that determine what I got the grid value set to. So if I got the grid value set to one bar, half note, quarter note, eighth note, sixteenth note, then that's how fast it'll switch over. So I usually use mine, uh, set mine to scenes. That means that when I switch over to one, it's automatically switch over to to the uh, the next scene. So it'll finish out that scene and then it'll switch back over. So that's how I have mine set up. And this last top feature, let me get rid of that right here this is your global master um, um volume levels you can you see that i have um it set to a pretty normal level because that's what it automatically sets to but if i wanted to come over here and turn down the master volume i can do so right up here this is let me know that i got a midi 61 key plugged in i got the machine plugged in and this is me turn i don't i never use this button i don't know what i think it turns off everything it looks like an on and off button but I haven't used that button so we're not gonna and that tells me everything about native instruments the version that i'm on and all that good stuff so now that we got the sections out of the way like i said there's this cut down in three different sections your browser section your ideas view your songs view and your mix of view up here and these are your patterns and your groups and your master track right here so this is kind of like my my midi section so all right you guys so that's pretty much it that's a quick overview of the different sections inside a machine in the next video we're going to be taking a look at a little more in depth look at the browser section and how to load sounds and load plugins and load effects and all of that good stuff because that's the bread and butter that's what it's all about getting sounds inside a machine so you can cook up so i'll see you guys in the next video